Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventure. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia. In a few more days, it's going to be the new year. Reason I'm on this is because this week, six banks is sending me free calendars. <laughs> and they all would like I should bring them some money. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm a thinker. It would be much better if I was to send them free calendars and they was to bring me money. <laughs> But you should see these six calendars. Three of them has got pictures of dogs. One has got a picture of a bank. Another has got a picture of the Grand Canyon. And the last one has got a picture of a beautiful girl. <laughs> Mamma mia, she's wearing a lesser clothes than Uncle Pietro's goat. <laughs> anyway... I'm going to need all these calendars, so I'm going to throw away five of them. Now i got something on my wall I'm always wanted. Picture of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Someday, Mama Mia, maybe you come to America, and you're going to see how the people here, they celebrated the New Year's. Dancing and singing and hollering and whistling. Then at 12 o'clock at midnight, the lights go out, the fellas is a kiss of the girls, the girls is a kiss of the fellas. Everybody is a kiss. This is a democracy. <laughs> Last New Year's Eve, when the lights was to go out, I was standing next to Pasquale's fat Dora Rosa. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm a thought that the whole of democracy was a fall on me. But I'm sure I'm going to have a good time with this in New Year's. But one thing would make it perfect. In America, is the custom on a New Year's Eve. Everybody is a call up his mama and I wish you a happy New Year. Oh, I wish I had enough money to call you up and hear your voice again. Well, it's no use to dream. Besides, it's the time I should go to my night school class. So I'm going to finish this letter later. All right, class. Quiet, quiet. Good. Now I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Horowitz? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Why not? <laughs> One so quick on the trigger, my name should be Roy Rogers. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. No. Now, class, our lesson today is geography, and we will review the important rivers of the United States. Mr. Horowitz, you may name the eight great rivers. With pleasure. The Mississippi, the Potomac, the Delaware, the Ohio, the, uh, the, uh... I'll give you a hint. There's one river associated with the name of an automobile. You mean there's a Fliver River? <laughs> no, no, no. It's the Hudson. Uh. Oh, I've stepped down into that one plenty of times. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, let's see if you can name another river. The Missouri. Well, good for you. That's excellent. Wonderful. No, don't tell me. Just put it down on the report card. <laughs> well, we have five rivers now. Can you name the other three, Mr. Schultz? Well, there's the, um, Schwanee. <laughs> the Swanee is not an important river, Mr. Schultz. Oh, Al Schultz should hear you say that. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. Now, who can name the other three rivers? Mr. Basco? Uh-huh. 
Pardon, Miss Balding. If you wish, I could give you the whole correct answer. Oh, please do, Mr. Olson. Yeah, ho. Uh, Miss Balding, shall I name the eight rivers alphabetically or according to size? Just call out their names, Olson, and they'll answer present. <laughs> oh, keep quiet, Olson. Learn something. The rivers are the Hudson, the Delaware, the Potomac, the Mississippi, the Ohio, the Missouri, the Columbia, and the Colorado. Good for you. Yeah, ho. I might also add. Other great rivers include the Susquehanna River, the St. Lawrence, the Yames, the Cumberland River. Uh, Thank goodness he's passing through a dry state now. (laughs) George, you are just jealous of my knowledge of geography. Instead of acting like a yackass, why don't you be something like me? (laughs) Studying and reading and learning. I bet you I have a hundred books in my head. Look at him, what a horrible-looking bookcase. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, that will be enough. You could spend more time studying. And that goes for you, too, Mr. Horowitz. And you, Mr. Basco. Mississippi, the Ohio, the, the Hudson. <laughs> Mr. Basco, we've had the answer. What are you thinking about, anyway? Well, excuse me, Miss Bolling, but, but as soon as it's going to be New Year's Eve, and I'm, I'm going to have enough for money to call my mama on the telephone. Oh. Oh, poor Luigi. He is homesick. Stop, Olsen. Luigi is here with us. How can he be homesick? Why, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi? I'm just trying to cheer you up. Luigi, Luigi, how much would it cost to make a telephone call from Chicago to Italy? Well, uh, how much does it cost to make a yeah, call? Yeah, how much? I was asked so long distance operator. She said, told me it's a cost with a government to tax. Uh, $15 the first three minutes, $5 each the next minute. If you give a hiccup by mistake, you lost three dollars. <laughs> yes, it, it is quite expensive. If you should speak to your mother for only ten minutes, it would cost about fifty dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money for a phone call. True, true. But when you want to talk to your mother, a thousand dollars ain't too much. Thanks, Luigi. I got an idea for you. Uh-huh. Why don't you lend the fifty dollars from your friend Pasquale? To Horowitz, it is not lend, it is borrow $50 from Pasquale. What's the difference? Either way, he ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Luigi, I got it a better idea. Go into Pasquale's store when he's not there and make the call on his telephone. <laughs> no, 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 thanks, I should say. But now I'm gonna know what I'm gonna do. It's hard to get money from a Pasquale. But maybe he's going to let me use his telephone. And when the bill is come, I'm going to pay him out the little by little. That's a good idea, Mr. Luigi, are you a smart cop? Smile. And what if you don't pay him back so quick? What can Pasquale do to you? Can he sue you in court? Can he take away your store? Can he make you marry his daughter, Rosa? Sure, can he? About the zooing in the house, I don't know. But about Rosa, on that I can give you my guarantee. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Ah, uh, Pasquale. I want to ask you a bigger favor about a New Year's Eve. Sure, little banana nose. <laughs> you know anything I'm a god is yours, in my house, in my food, in my clothes, my daughter Rosa. <laughs> well, Pasquale, thank you very much for your house, your food, and your clothes. What about my daughter Rosa? You're welcome. <laughs> no, Pasquale, please forget about her. I will, after you marry her. Pasquale, I'm going to come here to ask you a bigger favor for us, so let us not to fight. Huh? All right, all right. What's your bigger favor, money? Well, uh, there's a phone call I'm going to like to make tomorrow night uh, with your telephone. All right. Who are you going to call? Italy. Well, you crazy people don't call up a countries. They call up a people. Huh? What are you going to do? Call up Italy and say, hello, Italy. What do you hear from the Alps? <laughs> That's a crazy. No, Pasquale, you don't give me a chance to explain that. I would like to call her my mama on a New Year's Eve. And on my telephone, it's a cost about a thousand dollars. No, Pasquale, only about a fifty dollars. And I'm a promise you, I'm going to pay you back. Uh, 
Luigi, maybe we'll make a little deal. Huh? You know, on the outside, I'm looking like I'm a hard man, but deep down, you know, I'm filled with the milky human kindness. And for you, there's always a couple of big squirts. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pasquale. You're the biggest squirt I know. That's a funny thing. When I'm a saying it's a come out of different. Yeah, but Pasquale, what is this deal you was talking about? Well, Luigi, it's a strictly business. I'm willing to lend you the fifty dollars for my own personal loan company. The Pasquale Finance Corporation. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pasquale. And as long as it's going to be business, you've got to have a co-signer. Somebody who's married. Well, all right, I'm going to get a shoes. Uh, no, it must be a female married, the co-signer. Well, all right, uh, Mrs. Schultz. Uh... Also, she's got to be married to my son-in-law, and his name has got to be Luigi. <laughs> Pasquale, you mean it to get us some money? I'm going to marry Rosa? Yeah. <laughs> I love my son. <laughs> Goodbye, Papa. <laughs> no, Pasquale, you give me a good idea. I'm going to the real finance company and get to this loan of my son. Who's going to give you a loan, you broken darling? <laughs> Wait, uh, <laughs> Luigi, I'm not got no hard feelings. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm got a big pull with the businessman's loan the company on a fourth of the day bond. Huh? You get down there right away now. You mention my name as you co-sign and you get the money in a minute. Oh, thank you, Pasquale. I'm glad you know matter to me. I'm going to down there right now. Sure. Go, 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 go. <laughs> So sure, I'm going to help him get that money. <laughs> I'm just giving him enough rope so he's electrocuted himself. <laughs> hello, a businessman alone the company? Oh, uh, Mr. Fantetti, hello, that's a Pasquale. Uh, I'm going to just send a friend down to see you. His name is Luigi Bosco. He's a very nice little pumpkin head. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sign, I'm going to co-sign his loan for him because he's got a very fine character. Oh, yes, he's just got a new job. He's working in a pool room. Yeah. Also, in his spare time, he's laying a chiggy for a float in the crab game. <laughs> oh, this boy's a full of talent, yes. Huh? And what he wants to use the loan of money for? Well, you see, right now, he's a little short. But I guarantee if his horse wins the race, you're going to get all of your money back with interest. You going to give the loan? Hello? Hello? Hmm. They hung up on me. I wonder why. And now for the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, I'm a went to that loaner company. Sign out the side, as I said, the business of man's loaner company. Who will lend you a hundred dollars on your signature? I figured out I'm a write only my first and I'm going to take a 50. <laughs> but then a man on the side is asking me a lot of questions. How much money am I got in the bank? Stocks, bonds, and insurance. Then he's add up all of these things and he's find out I'm worth nothing. <laughs> this I could have told him when I walked in. <laughs> but then he says, who's the co signer? And I'm told him a Pasquale. Next thing I know, I'm on a street, the car going to home. <laughs> well, Mamma Mia, in a few more hours, is it going to be New Year's Eve? And a lot of Americans, they're going to be telephoning their mamas to say hello. But not to me, because I'm still not able to get money for the phone call. Luigi, my fellow boob. <laughs> hello. Hello, Schultz. Well, how did you make it out, Miss Pasquale? Schultz, I'm going to understand what's happening. Because I'm a no one to marry Rossi. He's a no one to give him money, so he's a send me to the finance company. 
but they don't want to lend me the money to anybody who's a shiny shoes in a pool room and is a cosigner is a horse. <laughs> Ach, Luigi, are you for shimmers? <laughs> sure, so what am I going to do? I'm going to feel terrible. <laughs> what can you do? Smile, Luigi. <laughs> so if it ain't this year, maybe you'll call her next year. Anyway, I ain't going to let you be so depressed. Tonight, me and my happy little family, we are having a New Year's Eve party, and you are going to join us. Well, thanks, Mr. Schultz, but I'm not... Stop! Old... You're going to love it! But there'll, there'll be me, my wife, my three children, cousin Hugo, Uncle Tom, my brother Wolfgang, his wife, their two children, Uncle Carl, Aunt Frieda, the four little nephews, my grandfather Max, his girlfriend, and the rest of the family. <laughs> But it shows you only got a two rooms. How you gonna make a room for so much of people? It's New Year's Eve, so we raise the roof. <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. But what do you say? Are you coming to my party? Sure, it's a nice you should invite me, but... No, but. Ach, Luigi, we got it such fun every New Year's Eve. There will be food and drink and balloons and crazy hats and horns and the radio always playing and the kids hollering. Yeah, but sure, so what about the neighbors? Let them make their own party. <laughs> oh, Luigi, we got it such fun at 12 o'clock sharp. Grandpa Max goes around and kisses everybody in the room. <laughs> oh, and when he does that, I laugh hysterically. <laughs> Why should sure, sure. His beard tickles my chin. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, I see it's no use. That phone call is on your mind. But remember, any time tonight, the fun is waiting for you. Well, thank you, Shush. Sure, sure. Good, good. Now, give me a smile before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Now be like me, Luigi. Happy. Always laughing. <laughs> Ooh. My rheumatism is killing me. Well, as soon everybody's going to be calling their mamas and not to me. If the telephone company was only to know how much I'm a miss of this, they would surely lend me one along a distance to call. <laughs> they would lend me one along a distance to call. Sure, why not? Mama me, it's only four o'clock. The companies are not the close yet. I'm going to downtown right now and talk with the president of the telephone company. Oh, look at the streets. Already people are starting to celebrate. Oh, there's the telephone company. Hmm, this is so big. One, two, three, four, five, seven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen windows in the ground floor. <laughs> well, there's no use to stand out of sight. I'm going. Pardon me, lady. Yes? You work for this telephony company? That's right. I'm a chief operator. I'm a Luigi Basco, state the 42701. Are you recognizing my voice? Hardly. <laughs> I've got to report for duty upstairs. Whom do you wish to see? Well, I was thinking I would like to see the president, a fellow who's on the telephones, Mr. Bell. <laughs> Mr. Bell? Oh, you can't be serious. He died years ago. Oh, poor fella. <laughs> Then maybe I can see Mrs. Isabel. She's dead, too. Mr. and Mrs. Isabel, they had some sons? Well, I would imagine so. Well, good. Then please, maybe I speak to one of the Bell boys. Sir, maybe I could help you if you told me what you came here about. Well, it's about a telephone call. It's a telephone call I'm going to want to borrow because it's a sooner New Year's Eve. And I ain't the guy of the cash to pay for longer distance to call it to my mama me in Italy. Oh, well, are you a customer? Oh, sure. Whenever I'm going to make a call, I'm going to use only the telephone. <laughs> I think the man you want to see is Mr. Hawkins. His office is right down the hall. Oh, thank you. And you know, you're a very pretty girl. Oh, thank you. Uh, what did you say was your problem? 
That's all right. I'm going to go to see the man. <laughs> Mr. Hopkins, uh, hope he's a nice man. What is a hurt to nothing to ask? Ah, uh, here. Robert E. Hop- Hawkins, uh, general manager. Hmm. Man who manages the generals must be pretty important. <laughs> well, I'm going. Yes? Hello. Who are you? Luigi Basco State, the 42701. Remember? Every month you send me a bill. Well, have a seat, Mr. Basco. I'll join you in a minute. What? I said, have a seat. I'll join you in a minute. You think this chair is going to hold the both of us? <laughs> Now, uh, Mr. Basco, you came here for a reason. What is it? Oh, it's a very important, uh, Mr. Hopkins. It's a very big favor I'm going to ask you. Yes? Oh, thank you. I didn't think you would say yes so quick. <laughs> Mr. Basco, what did you come here for? Well, a few hours is going to be New Year's Eve. And everybody, they're going to call up with their mom, is it, to wish them a happy New Year? Yes, that's very true. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that very thing myself. Well, uh, I'm going to get a telephone to Mr. Hawkins, and, and I'm going to like to call my mom in Italy. But is it going to cost the $50? I get it. Oh, no, you're not going to get it because I'm going to get it. <laughs> you see, $50 is more than I can afford to pay in one month. Well, uh, what did you expect me to do about it? Lend me the telephone call. <laughs> what? Sure. Just a dollar put on the bill. And instead, I'm going to pay you out the four and a half dollars a month for a year. Or, or maybe, if you like, every week, I'm going to bring a dollar to your house. Hey, Mr. Basco, please. Don't say no. I'm going to give you three dollars of deposit to write now. I, I, I can. Then I, then I don't talk to my mama for ten minutes. I, I'm going to talk for eight minutes. Uh, no. Wait. I'm going to ask her about Uncle Pietro and his goat. So is it going to take only five minutes? Uh, Mr. Bass. How much does it cost if I'm just to say hello and a goodbye? Uh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Basco. Really, I'd like to help you out, but I'm part of a big business concern, and things aren't done that way. I'm understanding, Mr. Hawkins. No hard feelings, I trust. You trust? Oh, good. I'm going to pay you back every week. I'm <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm afraid you misunderstood. I, I can't help you. Huh? Oh. Well, goodbye, Mr. Hawkins. And just the same as always, I'm still going to do all of my telephone business with your company. Goodbye. <laughs> Mama me, I'm going to try everything, but it looks like there's no use. I'm not going to be able to make it a call. Well, and now I'm going to go out of sight and go home. Oh, look at those crowds here. Still not the 12 o'clock of midnight already. Everybody's in the streets. Happy New Year, buddy. Thank you, and a Happy New Year to you, too. What'd you say? Nothing. What's the matter, you a wise guy? No. You want to start a fight? No, I'm going to go home. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, lady. Happy New Year. Well, I'm open up. Go into my store, maybe go to sleep. Hi, buddy. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let's celebrate. How's about a night, Cap? No, thanks. I'm going to have a sleeper with a hat. <laughs> uh, hey, you're in a worse condition than a liar. Excuse me. I'm going to say to my store. Hello, what? What's your hurry? What's your hurry? <laughs> oh, it's so, so bad. Poor man, is there something wrong? No. It's just that every New Year's Eve I get to think of my mother. <laughs> oh, my mother. She was just like a father to me. <laughs> my father. He was just like a father to me. <laughs> You know, you know, for the last three years, I've been going to a psychoanalyst. And that's no good. Why? He's just like a brother to me. <laughs> well, that's it too bad. Happy New Year, and I hope everything is a straighten out for you. Straighten out? Ain't I 
stiffen up? Well, I'm... <laughs> For a man, I'm about to drag him in a holloway. That's no way to get a money for the telephone call, rolling the drunks. You know, Pasquale, I'm going to give up all ideas about the phone call. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going go into my store and, and I'll go to sleep. Sleep? But what are you talking? A few minutes is it going to be midnight. Let's celebrate. No, Pasquale, I'm, I'm going to feel like to celebrate. Oh, stop. Don't say such a thing. Let's me and you and Rosa, we go walking on a Michigan Boulevard. We watch Rosa push the crowd a little, eh? <laughs> Don't answer, I call the ringer now. Rosa! 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 You call me! <laughs> yes, my little Cupid darling. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. Rosa, any minute is it going to be 12 o'clock. What are you going to do? Same as last year, Papa. What's it after? You hold Luigi and I'll kiss him. All right. And then it's 12 o'clock. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, right, listen, they're digging out at 12 o'clock. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Pasquale, please, close the door. Huh? Huh? All right. Listen, Luigi, just because he's American, a custom on a New Year's Eve for a son and to call his mama, that's the meaning you've got to do it. The whole thing is a trick put out by the telephone company. <laughs> I'll forget about it. Hey, it's a telephone. Luigi, it's your telephone. Hey, there maybe Schultz wants I should have come to his party. I'm going to feel like it. Oh, Schultz. Well, forget about him. He's giving up. Let's just start again. Luigi, it's a place on the telephone. Well, all right. Hello? Yeah, hey, it's Luigi Bosco, 21 and Order Holster Street. What? Who's it calling to me? Here, Teddy. Yeah, I'm a hold on. Come, Rosa, let's go. Yeah, sure, I'm a hold on. Mamma mia. Oh, how wonderful. Mamma mia, how you feel, huh? Yeah. Isn't it a wonderful telephone? Yeah, sounds like we're next door to each other. Mamma mia, how you feel? That's good, good. And how's that to Margarita and Uncle Pietro? And it's a goat. <laughs> oh, the goat is still not married. <laughs> Mamma mia, it's beautiful to hear your voice. This is so nice, Mamma mia. Wait. Hey, who's to pay for this a telephone call? <laughs> Pasquale is a surprise to me? No? Then wait. That a man from a telephone company, he's a fix up. You know? Then, Mamma Mia, how's it possible? Who's a paid? What? Out of towns of people are from Castellamari? Why? Oh, I'm a forgot. In a Castellamari, is it a custom on a New Year's Eve? The mum should have called her the son. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production. It was written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. Jay Carroll has to start as Luigi Ballas to go with Alan Davis to This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.